Okay, here we are in my really messy garage. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it's really cold out tonight. It's supposed to get down to minus five. Wish I had the rocket stove. Okay, so basically, here what, I, what I've done is I've ground the metal smooth and clean around where I'm going to weld it to the galvanized metal on the bottom. Then on the top here, what I've done is I, I got a uh, black stove trim ring from Tractor Supply and I basically welded it. What I did was I popped it on, the uh, six inch pipe went in, popped right inside of it perfectly and then I just put a bead, I'm using flux core, uh, a MIG welder, I'm using flux core wire because it's cheap and uh, I don't really care how pretty it is and I basically welded it onto the inside of the pipe, the black pipe. Of course I used a uh, wire cut brush to uh, clean the paint off of it, everything first. And then uh, I'll clean this up and spray some black high temp paint back over it so it doesn't rust so bad. And then if we look underneath, what this does, I don't know if you can see it, but it caps the pipe and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend bend this down, cut it and bend it down and then tack weld it to this and that'll keep that vermiculite from falling out of the pipe the loose stuff on the top. It's just basically a cap so if somebody tips the stove upside down it doesn't pour all out on the inside um, and make a big mess and screw up the stove. So, Okay next step I'm gonna bend that pipe cap down tack weld it and we're gonna move on to the next next step. Okay here we are I cut with the tin snips the metal and bent it down and I just kind of kept bending it around and it made kind of this fan shape and it pressed down tight so I don't even think I have to weld that now that's not going to leak out of there and uh, when the exhaust gases come up out of this it may actually, these veins might actually help it create like a spiral down to the exhaust, I don't know, but uh, it looks cool anyway. Um, so I'm going to spray it with some black paint on the weld, and then I'm going to move on to welding my bottom pipes there, and uh, the barrel, basically. And uh, we should then seal it up with some high temperature sealant, and... Uh, I'm going to re-weld the legs back on. I don't like them. I welded the legs on uh, on the outer corners and it's kind of floppy. I know it'll stiffen up once the barrel's welded in place, but I'm going to cut those legs off and weld them directly under where the barrel's going to sit so the weight of the barrel lies directly on the legs instead of on the outside metal. Um, and then the next step is to cut a hole in the, the intake pipe here, uh, cut a hole in the top and weld in a uh, feed spot that the wood will feed into and I'm actually going to do something different here I'm going to have a feed at the top and I'm going to have air intake at the bottom <coughs> I figure if it's too much air or doesn't work right I can always cap that off um, and then later on use it as a clean out to jam a shot back up underneath there because uh, it looks like the ashes on test when I burn test burn this the ashes seem to collect right at that elbow at the bottom there so it's gonna probably take a clean out every day um, depending on how much it's used but uh, that would be a good clean out so I'm gonna cut a hole at the top of that pipe closer in uh, that's gonna be the wood feed where the void will sit and burn so alright next step weld those pipes there and uh, then the barrel and then the legs, and then we've got a rocket stove. And we can maybe do a test burn. Over and out. See you next time.